Right, right here. Good morning, everybody. We are at Rawhide Ranch today. We're finally doing this, aren't we, Rob? Yes, we are. Because After what happened? Talking about it. Yeah, because I mean, he said, you know, Rob said, hey, look, we'll go for a ride. You can go do these things, but you can't do these things that are rawhide oriented See, because you never took the damn course. Okay. And we do things a certain way off road, it. so it's going to be our way or the highway. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so what are we going to do today? We're going to do a whole bunch of stuff. We're going to do skids and turns and figure eights and um, uh, we're going to spend a lot of time on turns. That's what we usually spend a lot of time on is counterbalancing the bike. Um, this is how we maximize our traction and avoid washing out the wheels and uh, it helps to build confidence as well. So we'll do rear wheel skids, even some front wheel skids if uh, we can shut off ABS on these bikes and um, we'll go from there and uh, towards the end of the day we'll do some great big descents, some great big climbs, um, some whoop de doos some sand, if the sand pits are chewed up especially. So yeah, we got a lot on the agenda for today. We're just waiting for one more student. Yep, so Chris will be here. This is... <laughs> the ranch and this is only yeah, a tiny tiny yourself. piece of it oh my gosh there he is the man the, man, the myth the legend oh god oh yes i have to stop letting aging rockers show up around here I mean, I <laughs> how are you i'm good ricky how are you good i'm just doing a little video if you don't mind yeah terribly. of course hell go for it i have my legend tripping channel i want everybody to know this i have a legend tripping channel ricky rockets legend trip but i also have ricky rockets motorcycles which is just motorcycle oriented stuff so you can watch me fall down and do really dumb stuff <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep my camera ready. <laughs> and good. Uh, so I'm among uh, seasoned professionals here. I should be a lot better at this stuff by now, but you know, by the end of the day, you will be. We'll get there. <laughs> That's right with your new toy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So I'm today. I'm on the uh, my Yamaha uh, Tenere 700. Uh, this thing has been really, really good. I have some. Uh, I put on these tires recently. I think I did talk about that and we didn't leave much air out of them last time. I left it exactly the same way, Rob. They should be right around 30. I think that's what it is. Yeah, that's and right. We can I, let a little more out if you want. On the freeway, I, it, was, it was moving around a little bit, but... I think they're tubeless, tubeless right? Center spokes? What's that? Are they tubeless? The center they spokes? are not tubeless. Oh, they're not tubeless. Unfortunately, they are not. Yeah. And, uh... You can wave rotors on them. Yeah. Is that stock or is that Gelfer? I think those are stock rotors, aren't they? Yeah, that's all stock. So we're going to go out and do some drills. We are about to leave our first state of competence. So we, before starting our, our talk, we're in a state of unconscious incompetence, which means we don't know what we don't know. But now that we've talked what he about said. it a little bit, <laughs> we're going to enter a state of conscious incompetence. Now we do know what we don't know, and we're gonna go learn the stuff we don't know. There's two more steps to go. He better be nice to me, because I'm gonna get him on the mat and teach him jujitsu, and I'll be mean. <laughs> yeah, I don't want that. <laughs> just a quick check-in here, uh, getting ready. We just had lunch, delicious lunch, and uh, a little bonding time. I already dropped the bike once, uh, but I didn't hurt it, really. They gotta put this bar on, though, but look. And low speed stop it. And I just whoop, went down. But I'm alright. Alright, so we're gonna get going. I'll check back in with you later. Out there in that little bowl, there's a few little humps around the perimeter. Those are the whoop de doos that we're gonna ride. We're going to use that hill across the way for our climbs. I'm probably also going to demonstrate a uh, steep hill turnaround there. We'll use this one over here 
or possibly another one for our hill restarts. But we're gonna go down this one first. You wanna walk to the edge and look down? Below that, there's, uh, I think, a row of tires. No, rocks, I'm sorry, it's rocks. Then uh, tires, then the sand pit, a rock garden. There's another pile of rocks here, those logs over there. This is kind of like the Rawhide Disneyland up here. When you come up to the cell tower, there's a lot of cool stuff up here. And I'll show uh, a lot of it to you since we're up here. You we're ready for this? Time. Pretty crazy stuff, let's do it though. Look at this, look how beautiful this is. And windy. The one that I got caught up on was the straight rock one, and I just fucking went right over the handlebars. Duh! <laughs> and if I go, hey, actually, I, I'm gonna yeah. try to hook my GoPro up. Technique is everything. I'll try. First gear, clutch out, no brakes. Just the engine slowing you down. Probably gonna have to go up there and turn around. When you're done with this run, you got a little tree over there all by itself? Yeah. Just park over there. Alright, see you down in five. method we call it the momentum method and this is the most typical way that you would get up a hill right and that's you know starting from back here build up some speed down here right we're still gonna be in first gear but build up some speed and then you're gonna maintain the same throttle position not the same speed but the same throttle position what happens is as you start to climb it'll slowly bleed off speed until you're at the top because you're not adding right. power right so it'll be like man and you're at the top. Right? So you're using the momentum that you built up here it's just to kind of carry you up. Go for it. Charge that hill. Have fun with it. Uh, start way back there if you want to shift into second and just fucking blah, just go for it. You can get some air at the top. If you want. So we're gonna, this is your best time to relax. The situation is I've gone halfway up a hill and stopped for whatever reason, and now I've decided I want to continue, right? Here's how you do it. So you put your foot on the rear brake, the bike, you're gonna bring the RPMs up. You'll do it by ear. It should be somewhere around 2,500, 3,000, something like that, depending on the bike, right? But don't stare at the tack. Do it by, by ear, because you need to be looking ahead. Once the RPMs are up a little bit, you're going to slowly start to release the clutch until you can feel it starting to grab. As soon as that happens, you start releasing the rear brake. You're going to stay in the friction zone and slip the clutch until you can stand up and keep going, right? We're trying to do this without spinning the wheel. That's the whole goal here. All right? All right. So foot on rear brake, clutch in, start the bike.
times am I gonna dump the bike today uh, <laughs> so that's from a couple of things right so as soon as you got out here you probably were like holy shit look at the sand because you were looking at it yeah yeah don't look at it these little tracks crisscrossing the sand aren't gonna slow you down aren't gonna turn your wheel so don't bother looking at them just look at like that yellow log or something or the hill over there as you go through the sand because you'll be able to feel the bike doing a bunch of stuff and you'll let it as long as you look out there. Alright. Alright, let's get her up. I gotta figure out where to pick it up from. One, two, three. face out so that we don't clobber each other if something goes wrong. All right, let's do this. So guys, I'm just gonna do this off of my phone. Uh, it'll make it a lot easier. <laughs> Trying to pull my camera back out again. And uh, we had a great day. I got through it. I fell a few times, <laughs> but I didn't get hurt. At least I'm not feeling it yet. Did I do okay, Rob? That's the big- Fantastic. Yeah? He Even was with a all stellar the student. Yeah. Yeah. He had experience already. I expected yeah. him to do well. Go. It's 20. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you expected more. Oh, he's shit. <laughs> Take care of each other and keep Brock alive. Keep me alive. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. Or if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Or ring that bell so you get notifications. Like Ricky always says, take care of each other and keep Brock alive.